In this video, I am going to talk about the Mexican side of music that Mexican Americans like to listen to and the way it is set up today. A lot of Durangense groups like Alacane Musical and Los Primos de Durangos, both born in Mexico, have become more Mexican American throughout the years. Durangense has gone to a new level. Groups like Montes de Durango and Patrulla 81 have made songs talking about the difficult lives of immigrants in the United States. Tex-Mex is big music in Texas that crossed the border into Mexico. Big stars such as Selena and Bobby Pulido have sang a lot of Tex-Mex music. Mexican rock is the type of music that has been sung by groups and individuals such as group RBD, Rebelde, and Belinda from Spain. Corridos sung by Antonio Aguilar and Jose Alfredo Jimenez have left a mark in Mexican and American culture today. Mr. Antonio Aguilar has influenced Mexican American groups such as Spark and Lorenzo Antonio to sing a lot of those corridos today. Rancheras from the 1920s, 30s, 40s, 50s to today are mariachi with individual voices. Big ranchera singers include Beto Las Palomas and Yolanda del Rio who today still lay a mark in Mexican American society. Perhaps the biggest ranchera singer is Mr. Vicente Fernandez. Raised in Jalisco, he has had a big impact in Mexican Americans today. Ezequiel Peña, another ranchera singer, has combined mariachi with norteñas and banda, impacting Mexican Americans today. The most controversial kind of music is the narco corridos, which are sung by groups like Los Tucanes de Tijuana and are heard in the U.S. and Mexico. Narco corridos have crossed the border into the United States and have encouraged Mexican American singers such as Gerardo Ortiz to sing the songs. The kind of music that you dance to in Mexico is called cumbias, sang by groups like La Sonora Dinamita and Laura León, La Tesorito. Another kind of music there is is reggaeton, which originates from the state of Puerto Rico. Singers such as Wisid y Yandel, Daddy Yankee, and Rakim and Ken Wai are really popular in this kind of music. All of this music is really popular. Duets such as Rakim and Kewai and Wisin and Yandel are no longer together and are individual singers. By being Mexican American, I can say that you don't have to be Mexican to sing this kind of music. A good example of this are Puerto Rican singers Luis Miguel and Carlos Ponce.